Hello folks and welcome to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. Today we're going to show you how we re-level a mobile home. Mobile homes don't sit on uh, concrete foundations like regular houses do. Uh, there's a variety of uh, ways that a mobile home can be set up and that will depend on where you live, it will depend on uh, the climate, in, uh, soil conditions and your, of course your codes, the local codes. Uh, where we live we don't get a lot of frost and uh, so we set them up on these uh, cribs. So there you can see a crib, uh, it's, a, it's that little stack of wood and it's sitting on a concrete block. That concrete block is just sitting on the ground. So then you can see up above the uh, block there that there's a steel beam. that runs the entire length of the, of the home and it, there's one of those on either side of the home. So this particular uh, home here is a single wide and there's uh, seven of these cribs down each side for a total of 14. Releveling a uh, mobile home is a kind of a maintenance thing. It's something that should be done every four, five, six years. It depends on uh, you know how your soil conditions are. That's really the big factor. Um, but uh, you, you start to see your doors sticking, uh, you start to see that you're having problems with your drains and your sinks draining. Uh, that's all signs that it could be um, that your, uh, your home is not level anymore. It's gone out of level. It causes those things to happen. So, uh, like I said, it's about, you know, it's a good maintenance thing, you know, for every four, five, six years uh, to have them re-leveled. In our area, generally, it costs about $800 to have a uh, single-wide mobile home re-leveled. Uh, Double-wide, of course, is going to have twice as many cribs. And so you're, gonna, you're looking at about $1,200 to have, uh, have one uh, re-leveled around here. So when we do a major renovation like this, before we start anything uh, new, we like to get in here and re-level the home. Uh, that just gives us a nice straight foundation to start from before we start building steps and decks and hanging new doors and you know, this home's going to get new windows so uh, new cabinets new plumbing fixtures all of that stuff uh, you know is dependent on starting from a good base so we've gone through this one and uh, we've re-leveled it and I'm just going to sort of show you what we did here so basically what you do is you start, you find the highest point. And in this case down here, that was the highest point over there where you see the tape measure. And so your, your most efficient and easiest way then is to bring everything up to that point. You can see we have a laser set up here and the laser is what, what guides us. And so basically the way this works is you can see down there, uh, there's a laser line on that tape measure and it's right there now it's uh, at five inches so what we will do is we'll go around the entire uh, building uh, from crib to crib all 14 cribs and bring them up so that the laser hits that five on the tape measure all the way around then we know we will be level so the process of of, of getting that up to level is we use a, a jack and so here you can see we have the jack set up on some blocking and uh, that gets us up close to the to the beam we use a 20 20 ton hydraulic jack and uh, we just get it underneath the steel beam there and we just start jacking and then we take it up till we get that measurement that we want on the tape and then we slide these shims in there so you can see the shims in above this little beam here Every other a set of cribs has a, a beam that goes across and that ties the two cribs on either side together. Uh, you'll notice over here we don't have one so it's just every other one and that just gives this the structure stability so that it uh, it doesn't want to fall over. So it's just a process of going around block to block, cribbing to cribbing, and just bringing it all up so that it's, uh, so it's all the same, it's all level.
So then once we've done that, then, we, then we're ready to start with new construction. We have a nice level base to work off of for all of our new stuff. You can see here where we, where we uh, jacked this up. This home was about uh, an inch out of level from high to low. And we are up now to everything's plus or minus an eighth of an inch from our, what we call benchmark. But you can see here where, uh, you know, in the process of, of uh, leveling it, uh, this, this deck that was built here before was not, it was built on a crooked, crooked building, it wasn't level. We've brought this up now and you can see how it's uh, sort of canted there. And that's because we lifted the building and the deck stayed down and it just kind of canted that. So that's re-leveling a mobile home in a nutshell. And uh, so we've, uh, we're to the point now where we're going to start doing some new stuff. So next up is we're going to get rid of this old deck. It's going to come off and we're going to build a, a new deck. So now that we are level, we're ready to start doing that. So if you're just joining us, folks, we are uh, renovating this, this old single wide mobile home here. We're giving it a complete inside and outside renovation. Uh, if you haven't seen some of our other videos, uh, go back and have a look at some of those. And if you're interested in this kind of thing and want to follow along with us, then uh, subscribe. Um, if you uh, would like to share it, give us a share, give us a like there, and uh, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, are you working on a, a mobile home project? And uh, if so, what, uh, what are you doing? So thanks again, folks. We'll see you on the next one.